Hi, this is Dan from Rock Paracord. I'm in the process of making uh, some dog collars. Um, these are adjustable. I got a little bit wider uh, buckle here that uh, enables the uh, paracord to slide in and out a little bit better. Uh, the one that I had for my dog, Guinness, that you saw in another video, was a little bit smaller buckle and uh, it makes it real hard whenever you're trying to loop it through here. So uh, I'm making these and um, <clears throat> they got a bigger buckle. So here's one that uh, is starting right now. This is a uh, pink and purple and uh, pretty much what I do is just uh, it's the two bar buckles and I uh, loop it around this two bar and then I start with the uh, the uh, double wide uh, cobra weave and so uh, in just a second I'll uh, put this on the tripod and show you how I do it okay so what I do is uh, you know you have the the two different colors you have the same colors on the outside and then the other color that you want to go down the middle um, on the outside and so uh, how I start is I usually start with one uh, of the sides on the pink and then uh, I'll just do the standard uh, cobra weave knot on one side and then bring it back and you need quite a bit of paracord for this I have uh, um, it's actually uh, I think uh, about 10, 10 feet, maybe 10 feet per strand, and then uh, take this other <clears throat> other one and do the same thing on this side. Okay, and then bring it back, and then once I do this one. Okay, I bring this over to the other side. So I'll pretty much do the center cord twice or on each um, cord going down and then um, go to the next one. Okay, so there, I did that one twice. So I did it on here and here. And then I leave it and I bring this one back from the back and then I do that one. So now I'll do this one twice. So I'll run it through this one and I'll move it over to the second one. So I got that one. Okay, so now I'm going to take it over to this one, that same cord. Do it. Okay, all right, now I'll grab the other one that was from behind. And I like doing it that way because then on the back, it makes a pretty cool uh, design as well. If you start to just randomly pick uh, one of the middle ones to do then it might not look as good on the on the back but again you're not going to really see the back as much okay I'll bring it over to this one okay what I'm going to show you next is how I do how I put in the D ring To hook on a leash or um, to just run your excess off so I have some d-rings here all right and then um, make sure all right then I'm gonna run this <clears throat> through here all right so hopefully I can uh, make this clear for you Okay, so I run this 
over the top of the D-ring. Then I'm going to run my purple over the top of the outside cord. Okay. Now you're going to do the same thing. So and that's going to go behind and then have to poke up through here. So there's that side. So now we got to come back all right, with the pink. And this time you're not going to go over the D ring. And then you're just going to bring this one over and back. So you're going to have two of the outside colors go over the D ring. If that makes any sense. Okay, so there's one side. All right, now, again, remember you're going two times. This is going to come through here like that. And then your outside is going to come through the D-ring as well. And you're going to do pretty much the same thing you did on the other side. So that's going to run through and then come up through the center. And uh, once you get it in front of you, you'll kind of see how it goes. All right, so then I'm going to tighten that down. Okay, now, same thing. We're going to bring this around, and then this one's already in there, so over. Then you're going to tie that last loop. Once you uh, get going with the rest of it, it'll uh, start to look better. So let me keep going so you can see. Okay, now I'll take that one and bring it across. keep going down until you reach the uh, length that you want it's fairly uh, tedious but you know you eventually get there I usually just turn on some music and you know just dive in okay so that's how it's gonna look with the d-ring in there okay now uh, I'm close to the end here, um, but earlier I told you about how much uh, paracord I use for uh, each strand here, um, and I misspoke. But uh, the middle, the middle one, the pink here is about um, 20 feet, actually 20 feet of paracord. The um, two outside, you can probably get away with 15 feet each because uh, what you do is the middle, the two strands that are going down the middle don't have to be as long. They just have to be as long as the, the uh, collar or however long you want to make it. And then um, the outside is going to be real long. There's going to be a whole lot of excess. Uh, so you can go about 20 feet for the middle strand and 18 feet. And that'll make uh, about a 24, 25 inch collar. So what I do once I get down to the end is uh, I uh, will bunch all of these up in the middle and I will take the um, outside strands and I'll just start to make a standard cobra weave to kind of make a uh, point at the end so whenever you're uh, looping it through the buckle it, it goes through pretty easy and I'll go uh, five or six times like this
Okay, so then uh, these two pinks, I'll go ahead and cut off and uh, melt so they don't fray or anything. So I'll cut those off fairly short. Now, uh, I gotta find my lighter. Okay, here it is. Alright, so then I'll light these and melt it off a little bit. Alright. Okay, then I'll continue with the regular Cobra Weave and go maybe two more times or so. And it just makes a little point at the end. We'll go one more time. Alright. There's that. And then I'll end up cutting these off and melting it. Alright, and then this I'll uh, tuck in normally. So tuck this in around here. And I probably should have done this before I uh, trim those pieces. Alright, so I got that uh, tucked in there and then I'm going to melt it all off and it'll be done. Okay, so here's the uh, finished product. And then there's what the end ends up looking like. And it just makes it a little easier to tuck that through there. And then tuck it through on this side. And then, uh, you know, the, with the, the middle, it's uh, easy to push the uh, buckle part through. And you loop that through right there. Tuck this underneath that, and you're done. And there's your dog collar, and you can adjust it to whatever size you like. So there's three double cobra weave dog collars, adjustable.